Pittsburgh is the week of the All Saints festivals. Everything's coming together. It's kind of crazy in this last week. Uh, this week we meet with the string players for the first time. Mm -hmm. We'll be in the venues. We have three different venues. So we have three different pianos. We have three different aisles that we're singing quite a bit of the program from. And singing in surround sound is something we have to practice because it's not easy. It's not the same. But uh, we did it last week in one of the three venues and it was awesome. Just the, I guess I'm one of the few besides the audience people who get to hear what that's like in the middle of the room and it's awesome. Um, and tonight we're actually going to record several other pieces so uh, when we put out a CD especially of the spirituals and we have several in this program uh, we'll have that permanent record of where we are right now and there are, we're at that point of spark and I just love this moment um, but all of these kind of preparations when they come together if we prepared well what happens now is the magic uh, the spirit of it all that is allowed to come out and just kind of move through the room like incense. David, this is the this is the first time you will have had a chance to have the string quartet, the piano, the singers, and the room all going at the same time. Do you get how do you avoid getting nervous or anxious? Well, we try. Well, I don't. Uh, uh, when we have prepared adequately, when everybody comes with their parts prepared, you know, and, and that, that's what we all hope for in our ensembles that we work with, in our churches, and with these professionals. If people come with things prepared, it falls together nicely. And that, I'm pretty confident that that's the case. So then that makes for a little less stress. Right. <laughs> and you're doing recording. Do you, do, do you record every rehearsal, or is this an unusual thing for you? Um, well, this program we have to record before All Saints because there's a very small amount of time between All Saints and the Christmas Festival. So can't afford the time. So I record before and it's kind of part of our preparation then. But talk the talk, about, your, talk <laughs> about your philosophy of recording. You know, every piece, I, every piece gets to a point where you think this is really it. And every time I say, uh, all we have to do is listen more closely. We can always find new things to discover in a piece. Uh, and you could go crazy, you could wait forever if you think you're gonna actually arrive, because you never really do. So yeah. at some point we just throw the mics up and say this is where we are in that journey with this piece. And if we re-record it five years from now, it'll probably be a different piece. And we have recorded some pieces that we've already got on CDs, and it's fun to hear the differences. Part of the thing you talk about is the theatricality and the processions and, and the candles that are part of the All Saints program. Um, are, do you have a very specific thing that you want to have happen as a result of the, during the course of this, these concerts? Because they're in different, very different spaces. Is there some, something that you want to have happen that you can imagine on Sunday happening that's going to also happen on Saturday? Well. I guess what I would hope is that each event would be something new and surprising, even for the choir, as they perform and, and do their part in this event. That something is different. The light will be different in each space. Um, the effect of the candles will be different in each space. Uh, but I think what I hope for in particular is that the candles really do uh, give us some kind of glimmering presence of the things that we can't see people that are no longer with us that we don't see anymore. Uh, but that, that little tiny flame that can be seen so easily, and it's flickering, living, and, and uh, I really hope those spark some kind of connection.